I come from a deeply religious family background. We are five brothers. I'm the youngest of them all. I owe my vocation to my grandparents because my grandparents made it a point to pray the rosary every day to see that we go for Sunday mass. And when I was in the early secondary section, I decided to join the altar service. I once again vividly remember how at the end of uh, a particular mass, the late Father Cosme Rego of Belgium Diocese caught me in the sacristy and he says, Barthol, I heard the Lord whisper to me that you are going to join the seminary. And those were the days when the Lord would constantly speak to me, follow me, follow me, particularly at the consecration time. At the end of the 10th standard, one of the sisters of Ganosa Convent asked me, what do you want to do? So I plucked up courage and I said, I want to be a priest. The late uh, Bishop Ferdinand Fonseca, he was the rector, he told me, he says that I was too small to join the seminary. He said, you go to college and if you want, join the quest program. That made my vocation grow. And from there on, I made a decision to join the seminary in the early 80s. Seminary was fantastic. We did everything, studies, games, entertainment, and it was Bishop Agnello who presented us for ordination on the 8th of April, 1989. At the hands of the late Simon Cardinal Pimenta, I was ordained priest. St. Francis Xavier Church, Dabul. That was my first appointment. What gave me the satisfaction and the joy was the pastoral visitation. From there on, I moved into the Diocesan Pastoral Center, Bandra. When I was director of the Youth Center, one of the new initiatives that we had undertaken was Youth Sav, a festival of youth for the youth of the Archdiocese of Mumbai. Imagine those years, 2,000, 3,000 youth attending for a one-day festival, going back home, charged as ever, to minister to the needs of the youth. Having completed my ministry, I was appointed to St. Francis Xavier Church, Panvel. That for me was a challenge because uh, I had to build a church, and to build a church was no easy task. Three years, and Cardinal Ivan requested me to go to Vagle State. That was the first time when I was made parish priest. It was a fruitful experience. From the pastoral ministry into an institution at Archbishop's house was quite a challenge because Cardinal Ivan Dias requested me to come to Bishop's house to be his secretary. But it was only one and a half years to work under Cardinal Ivan Dias. From there on, it was my joy and honor to work with Cardinal Oswald Gracious. From the Archbishop's house, I was told to go to St. Thomas Church, Goregaon. In the initial years of my ministry there, I was supposed to convene and organize the Silver Jubilee of the small Christian communities first started in Bombay 25 years ago at St. Thomas Corregan. At the end of my third year, Cardinal Oswald Gracious called me to Bishop's house and I thought as Dean, he had invited me to brief him about the deanery. And slowly, he sneaked in my transfer news from a small church I was now told to take over one of the biggest churches in our Archdiocese, IC Church, Buruvli. Our Lady of Immaculate Conception Church has made me the person I am today, giving me that pastoral fulfillment. 27 years as a priest, and here I am enjoying every bit of my pastoral ministry. Basically, I shared a good rapport with my brother priests. Whether I was the director of the Diocesan Youth Centre or secretary of the Archbishop or as dean, I've always made it a point to visit my priests, be they sick or otherwise. I also enjoy a very, very good relationship with my parishioners. 
I have made it a point to visit my people on a systematic basis and also visit the sick and the suffering at home and in the hospitals. Many of them have told me that my visits to them have brought joy into their lives. Not only they, but I can also say with sincerity, it has brought fulfillment in my life as a priest. As a priest over the past 27 years in my ministry, I have, with God's graces, undertaken a number of initiatives in the Archdiocese. In the year 2014, in the month of November, Cardinal Oswald Gracious invited me to organize a rally for the Extraordinary Ministers of Holy Communion. And that brought tremendous joy into my life because for the first time in our Archdiocese, a rally of the Eucharistic Ministers was held. One of the initiatives undertaken in the extraordinary Jubilee Year of Mercy was the Mercy in Action, where we motivated our people to sacrifice and any sacrifice that they made, be it a child or a youth or an adult, or even a senior citizen, all that they had to do was symbolically put a one rupee coin into the Mercy in Action box. And we collected a huge amount of money and the entire money was given to the Diocese of Amravati for the farmers in distress. One of the characteristic features of Jesus' ministry that has inspired me tremendously is when Jesus washed the feet of his apostles. This new commandment of love that he taught us was what inspired me to take as my motto, love in action. As a priest, I made it a point to walk the Jesus way, to love everybody. I have failed at times, but every night is a time of consciousness, asking myself, have I loved my people? Have I loved my work? Have I loved the Jesus way?